Today, I want to go over a uh, algorithm called next permutation. And specifically, I'm going to go over next string permutation as uh, a variation of this algorithm. Now, um, with a string, you have something called a lexicographic representation. So a string, you can think of a string as corresponding to numbers. So here we have h is 8 in the alphabet, e is 5, f is 6, g is 7. Um, in a permutation, if you're not familiar, it's a, um, it's, it's kind of like, um, you can think of it as sort of like an anagram, but uh, it's an ordered system of anagrams. So um, if you can order and sequence something, you can create permutations of it. So if you have numbers, you can create all permutations of a set of numbers. And if you have letters, you can create all permutations of a set of letters. And permutations get really large really fast. So in a set of five, um, five permutations, there, there are 120 possibilities. But as soon as, like let's say, 15, um, you're going to have a huge amount. Uh, it's, it's just, it gets incredibly large incredibly fast. That's 10 to the 12th right there. Um, so if you were thinking, um, if you want to get the next permutation of something and you could just generate all permutations and then find the next one, that's, that's a brute force way to do it that you just can't do in most cases because there are just too many permutations. Um, so we have to think of some intelligent way to figure out where we're starting from and how to find the, the next permutation in the set. So let's go, let's, let's do an example of exactly like how this works. So let's say you have the string H E F G and that corresponds to eight, five, six, seven. What is the next highest? So the next highest would be correspondingly, what is the next number you can make that's a little bit higher? Um, so in this case, you could swap this seven and six to make the next highest number. So you get eight, eight, five, seven, six, right? So that is the correct answer, but what would be the wrong answer? So the wrong answer would just be sort it so you just finally get the highest possible Thanksgiving, or the, sorry, the, the highest possible um, permutation. So um, if, if you look and see the, the wrong answer here, we've got H, G, F, E, and that would be 8, 7, 6, 5. That's not the next permutation, right? The next permutation is just a little bit higher than this. It's the next order set in this, whereas this is the highest possible uh, that's the last permutation so we we don't want to we don't want to brute force it and we can't just sort it and find the highest permutation we actually need to intelligently figure out a algorithm to find the very next permutation in this set um, and there's a very uh, helpful um, website here and I've, I'll put the link up in the video that goes into great detail of how this uh, lexicographic permutation algorithm works um, and I'm I'm doing these this example with a string, and we're going to um, we're going to find the next permutation in the character array of the string. But this one, it, this this website actually explains it in uh, numeric terms. But if you remember in Java, um, we can just cast any character to an integer, and you'll get the actual value of uh, what that what that character corresponds to in numeric terms. So I can run this code right now, and you'll see E casts to 101, F casts to 102, and they're ordered in the correct way so that the lower numbers in the alphabet are lower numerically. Um, so we don't really have to think about, even though these are not the same numbers as what they actually correspond to in the alphabet, um, in terms of what the characters correspond to numerically, it's perfect for us to use just to convert them into integers for this system. Um, so this algorithm, there's a really great uh, little um, diagram here. We start with a, a sequence of numbers, and we want to find the next permutation of it. So here's the initial sequence, 0, 1, 2, 5, 3, 3, 0. And you can see right off the bat um, that we want to find a slightly higher number. So probably what you'd want to do is move this 3 up here. So if you can see. Um, if you if you swap the three up here with that five, you're probably going to get the next highest one, something like that. But we'll see we'll see exactly how this works. Um, so 
The algorithm works by finding the longest non-increasing suffix. So you start from the back end of the sequence and you start going up and you see finally, is this greater, is this greater or the same, is this greater? And then finally when you find one that's less, that will be, uh, that will be the end of that suffix, right? So we're starting from the back of the, the sequence and we're comparing the numbers until we find one that's less than the one that came before it. Right, so we're going to stop at this 2. And this 2 is going to become what we're going to call the pivot point. And now we need to we need to kind of do something but it's like the opposite of that where we're going to go from the back of it and then we're going to find something that's greater than the pivot point. And that's what we're going to swap. So what we're essentially doing here, we're trying to find the next iteration in this sequence of permutations that's just a little bit higher. So we're finding we're finding a sequence that increases from the right hand side and then we're going to find where it stops and that's our pivot point and then from the right hand side again we're going to find the number that is larger than the pivot point, the first number that is larger than the pivot point, swap them and then finally once we have that that swap done we're going to reverse what we're going to call that suffix so as you can see we are moving that three up here and then because now this is sorted in the wrong order this is a much higher number than what is possible we're going to try and make it the lowest possible number so obviously zero two three five is lower lexicographically speaking than five three two zero right because if you were to order all of those numbers this would come before this and if we reverse it, since we know that these are essentially ascending this direction, they're ascending towards the left, and we make them uh, ascending towards the right, that's going to be the exact opposite. And then we'll end up with our uh, next highest uh, lexicographic permutation. Um, and also on this website, there's a code example. And I kind of took this and refactored it to do to uh, do this code with a string. So here's an example of this string. We're going to find the next permutation of H E F G, and we know that it should be H G F E. So let's run this. H E G F, right? So that is, uh, sorry, it's it should be this one. This is the correct one. This was the wrong example. Um, it should be H E G F since uh, HEGF is just the next um, the next higher po uh, permutation that's just a little bit higher um, so if we swap that 7 and that 6 we'll get the next uh, number in that in that permutation set okay so let's actually look at this code and see what it's doing um, and again what we're trying to do we're trying to take this algorithm that we have uh, um, gone over here and we're going to convert it into code and the first thing I'm doing in this get permutation I'm passing in the text and I'm converting it to a character array and the reason why I do that is because strings in Java are immutable so we have to get it into a mutable state which is this character array here and the thing about the character array we can swap the position of the letters so that's what we're going to do with the uh, with this character array right off the bat <clears throat> So the next thing we're going to do is trying to find the start of the largest uh, non-increasing suffix. So we're trying to find um, going from the back end or from the right side of the sequence, we're trying to find this pivot point. So we're going to iterate from the back. And so I'm starting at the end. This is the, this is the highest index position in the array. And we're going to decrement down it. So we're starting from the right side and we're going to go to the left side. So we're starting back here and we're going this way. Um, and we're going to compare to see if the current character is uh, larger than the preceding character. So in each case we're making, we're seeing is this greater than this? Is this greater than this? Um, and what we don't want is what we what we want is to find this suffix. So 
as long as it as long as this is less than this, we'll keep moving to this um, to the left in this sequence. So that's what this loop is doing. And basically when we're done with this, we'll have the pivot point here. Okay, so next uh, we're going to see is the largest non-increasing sequence zero essentially. So was the entire string sorted like five, four, three, two, one, right? Or the the equivalent with the string, of course, would be let's do this. It would be CBA or sorry CBA, right? Because you can't get that's the highest possible permutation. You cannot get a higher lexicographic number. So that's essentially like three, two, one. You can't rearrange that to get a higher number, right? So if that's the case, we return null because we're already at the maximum permutation. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to grab that pivot point and we're going to swap. So we found where this was. Now we're going to get that pivot point and we're going to do the swap. So if you see, again, we're going to start from the end and we're going to go up from the largest non-increasing sequence. So, so what we're doing, we're starting from the right. So we're starting from the right here and we're going this way in it. And at that point, we're going to find the pivot point. And so if this is if this is the pivot point, we're finding the thing we're going to swap with a pivot point, right? So we're just trying to find since we have that pivot, uh, we're going or sorry, since we have I kind of uh, let's let's change this name. This is actually the point we're swapping with a pivot. So since we have that pivot point here, and we need to find this thing that we're going to swap with a pivot point. So as we go from the end, uh, we're going to make sure, and this is the pivot point, sorry. Um, we're, we're basically going to say, is this uh, less than the, uh, the thing from the right? So if it is, we're going to keep iterating until we find something that is. And then this loop will terminate, right? Because this, this will be false. So when we find something like this three that is greater than the pivot point, then we'll stop. And what we're going to do is swap that. And this is just a simple swapping, um, swapping code. We are taking a temporary position of the, the letters array. We're swapping uh, the pivot swap into it. And then we're setting back that pivot swap from what the temporary position was. So we're just swapping two we're swapping two letters in this character array. So we're going to do that. We're going to end up with a swap between the pivot and the rightmost successor in the suffix. So we're going to switch these. And then finally, we're going to do a reverse. And the reason we're doing the reverse is because now, since we found the largest uh, non-increasing suffix, that's what this sequence was, we actually have to reverse it because that would be the highest possible number we want to make it the lowest possible number since we're trying to find just the next permutation in this in this uh, ordered sequence. So that looks pretty similar. We're going to reset this variable to the end. So again, this is the rightmost element in the array. We're we're setting it back here. If if we're in this array, we're setting it back here to the end. Sorry, back here to the end. And we're going to go through, and we're going to keep swapping until we get to this, uh, this is the pivot point, the start, the start of the longest non-increasing uh, suffix, right? So same thing, we're just swapping and we are incrementing that number and decrementing that number. And uh, eventually we'll have that whole little subsection of the array swapped and then we'll be able to create a new string out of our character array since again, strings are mutable and we have to pass back a new string uh, and we'll have that swapped. Um, we'll have that swapped string. So let's try this with a couple more. This one, it's um, a little bit more work. This one, we only had to actually swap two numbers ultimately, or letters. Um, this one, we're actually going to see the whole algorithm. So if we start with D K H C, you have something like four eleven eight three. 
Um, and you can see the next permutation is going to have to start with 8, right? Since this is completely descending, and that's the highest possible subsequence right there, we're going to have to move this 8 over here to the first position. So you're going to end up with something like 8, 3, 4, 11, since that's the, that's the lowest possible permutation on this side. Um, so let's see that in action. H, C, D, K. So you end up with something like 8, 3, 4, 11. That's a lexicographic uh, representation. I also put another, um, I put another link here. And if you can think of these as just like a substitution cipher for uh, letters, you can say C, B, A. And then that'll correspond to 3, 2, 1. Um, if you've got something long, sometimes it's more helpful. I was trying with uh, much larger uh, sequences. And um, it's kind of nice just to have this done for you. And then you can quickly see, um, you know, here's here's a point where I can do a swap right here. So let's let's do a couple more examples. Um, I have this one commented out. We have uh, A B C D E F G H. Let's see what that does. Right, and then so it found that H and that G, and it swapped it. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'll comment that back out. Comment these others back out. Uh, let's check this one out. So that got a null. And why did that get a null? That's because it's already sorted. That's already the highest lexicographic uh, representation of this string, right? You can't rearrange these in any, any order to make them a higher uh, number or a higher corresponding lexicographic number. Um, and then let's check this one out. This is kind of that same string, but we just flipped the, uh, the T and the U. And of course, since we just flipped those on the, on the right hand side, it's just gonna flip them back and make it the highest possible permutation. And now you're going to get the highest possible permutation for that. Um, and just to prove it works with a really large string. There we go. And here it's it's actually swapping um, this J. It's going to swap it up here and uh, push that Z back and reorder everything. So anyway, this is a, this is kind of a um, an explanation of get next permutation, and I'm doing it with a string. And again, I'll post up these links, this, uh, the lexicographic um, permutation algorithm explained with this nice chart. And he's got a nice job implementation for a numeric array. And I essentially did the same thing with a string array. Thanks for watching.